आउज़बिल्लिम बसमीम् अल्लाम एंड वेलकम टू किड्स क्विज़ ऑन हिदायत टी वी टुडे वी ब्रिंग यू स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ किड्स क्विज़ टुडे वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द बर्थ ऑफ आवर फर्स्ट इमाम इमाम अली सलाम ऑन दिस स्पेशस ओकेजन आई वुड लाइक टू सेंड माई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल आवर व्यूअर्स एंड टू फॉलोअर्स ऑफ एहलोबैद Let me introduce you to two teams. Team A, we have Ibrahim Nakwi, Assalamu alaikum, and Heather Hussain, Assalamu alaikum. In Team B, we have Zehra Lalji, Assalamu alaikum, Zehra, and also we have Saida Ahmed, Assalamu alaikum. And of course, as always, we have our young reciters, Ali Akbar Rashid, Assalamu alaikum, and welcome to Kids Quiz. Kids, as you know, we are celebrating the birth of our first Imam. Very happy, auspicious occasion, isn't it? Okay. So I would like to start the program with beautiful poetry. Ahle ima ko wali ibne wali yad aya. Ahle ima ko wali ibne wali yad aya. Bud chicken ruhe aza shere jali yad aya. Jab kabi mahe rajab sehne haram se guzra. जब कभी माह रजब सहने हरम से गुजरा मुस्कुराते हुए काबे को अली याद आया नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क अली अकबर राशिद हु इज़ गोइंग टू रिसाइड दुआ नाद अली फॉर अस टुडे बिकॉज इज बर्थ ऑफ इमाम अली सलाम सो वी हैव चोजन दिस ब्यूटीफुल दुआ विच वॉज विच वॉज ब्रोड बाई एंजल जब्राइल फ्राम अल्लाह सुबान ताली Uh, a true holy prophet of Islam, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. On the event of uh, the Battle of Khaybar, um, it, it's it's its recitation has many benefits. So I would like to ask uh, Ali Akbar to recite Dua Nadi Ali. Azzawajal Ana Shaitan Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim Nadi Ali and Mazhar Al Ajaib Tajidhu On Al Lakaf Al Nawaib. كلهم من وغم من سينجلي بأزمتك يا الله بنبوتك يا محمد بولايتك يا علي يا علي يا علي. ما شاء الله. We recite aloud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa jil farajum. This beautiful dua means that um, call Ali, alaihi salam. He is able to bring about the extraordinary. You will find him an effective supporter. in all calamities all worries and sorrows will soon disappear on the account of your authority o ali o ali o ali and like i said this uh, uh, beautiful uh, dua was brought by angel jibril to prophet muhammad peace be upon him at the event of uh, battle of khaybar okay and you know the all the story of battle of khaybar so but i just want to mention that there are many benefit of uh, nade ali it keeps you safe from calamities fear of um, enemies and also you should recite this at any time uh, especially when you are uh, in any problem or hardships you should recite dua nade ali okay so now we are going to move uh to our actual program actually before we move on to our actual program now today i would like you to have a look at the clip right this is clip of uh, miraculous birth of imam ali alaihi salam and i hope you like this clip so can we have this um clip please ali maula ali ali maula ali The land of Mecca throughout history has been of a vital economic, social and spiritual importance. It is upon this blessed land that the sacred house of God 
the Holy Kaaba was constructed. People from every generation and from all corners of the world traveled to Mecca for pilgrimage and would each year circumambulate around the Holy Kaaba, the revered place of worship and the heritage of Abraham. The Kaaba was originally constructed for Prophet Adam upon his arrival to earth with heavenly stones. However, during the floods at the time of Prophet Noah, it was lifted towards the heavens and Prophet Abraham was honored with the sacred task of reconstructing the Holy Kaaba. He was assisted by his noble son Ismail, who would gather and collect the stones. Upon completion, the Kaaba stood nine hands high at the place where it is presently located. The structure itself is directly located beneath Beit al-Ma'mur in the heavens. The Kaaba is the sanctified symbol of the unity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the universal direction of prayer for all Muslims, and the central focus of pilgrimage made incumbent for all Muslims till the Day of Judgment. Imam Ali alayhi salam was born inside the Holy Kaaba in Mecca on Friday the 13th day of Rajab, 30th Amul Fil, which corresponds with the solar date of 11th October, 599 years after the death of Jesus Christ. One of the close companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, Yazid ibn Ka'nab, narrates the incident of the amazing birth of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in the following words. Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib and I were sitting among a group of members from the Bani Abdul Uzza tribe facing the Kaaba. We could observe Fatima bint Asad, who was still carrying Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in her womb, walking towards the Kaaba. It was evident that she was undergoing labor pains, and we could hear her conversing in these words with her Lord. O oh my nurturer, I have full faith in you and your Prophet, as well as the books that you have sent. I testify to the words of my forefather Abraham and the one who built the Kaaba. For the sake of the one who built this house and for the sake of the child that I am bearing, make this delivery easy for me. At that moment I witnessed that the rear wall of the Kaaba suddenly cracked open and Fatima entered through it and disappeared. Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib and I approached the crack at once, thinking that we too would be able to pass through it, but found the wall closed. We immediately understood that this was a divine act. Fatima bint Asad walked out of the Kaaba on the fourth day with her baby, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in her arms. The crack which split open the walls of the Holy Kaaba are visible even today for everyone to witness. It is an everlasting symbol to testify the miraculous circumstances under which the Prince of Believers, Ali ibn Abi Talib, was born. No person before him was ever born in the Kaaba. 
and no person after him has ever had or will ever have a share in this magnificent glory. The birthday of Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him. him. The birthday the birth of, of a man whose heart was so attached to the heavens. The heavens. For, for who who is this life and this world, world was, was so small? A great, a great leader symbolizes justice, justice and fairness, fairness the, one the one who was feeding, feeding and supporting the needy through all, all his, his life. The birthday of the real human, human. he who devoted all his, his divine, divine life to support, support the truth, truth. To be, to be the, the truth, truth and, and to spread, to spread the, truth. the truth. Wow, that was amazing, wasn't it? You know. Um, and I hope you watched it carefully because you will be tested on it now. I'll be asking questions about it, okay? Right, so what did you think of the clip then, girls and boys? What did you think about it, girls? Uh, uh, we thought it was very inspirational and it showed how miraculous the birth of the Marmalade yeah. was. Indeed. How special yes. it is and how no one else can have such a unique birth. Yes, yes, definitely. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose this holy place uh, for Imam Ali to be blessed with this honor, yes? And, and also, nobody before Imam Ali and nobody after Imam Ali would ever be born in Khanai Kaaba. Okay, so that was very, very special. So boys, what did you think about it, uh, Heather? I thought it was very informative. Informative and... Uh, I thought it was amazing. It gave you a clear insight into what happened on that amazing night. Night, And yeah. how today you can still see the marks of where... Exactly. Did you out. see that ball where it was cracked, right? And up till now, you know, uh, people trying to cover it up. But obviously, because it was a miracle of Allah, they can never uh, hide it, okay? It's very, very obvious when you go to uh, do the tawaf, when you go to Kaaba, you know, uh, Makkah, you can see that crack. They, every time they feel it, eh, but it, you know, it's very, very obvious. They can't hide it, okay? So, mashallah, that was very good. Uh, right. So, what we would like to do now, I would like you to maybe this time round we're going to change slightly obviously we're going to have three rounds first round second round and, and the third buzzer round but I would like to ask the girls if they would like to recite a qasida on the birth of uh, Imam Ali so we'll recite a loud salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa li Muhammad wa jil farajo ऐसे होते हैं लिखे नौकर 
ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर वक्त पर वक्त की रफ्तार बदल देते हैं फितरत खंजर तलवार बदल देते हैं दार पर ले जाए गुफ्तार बदल देते हैं जेर खंजर भी सदा देते हैं है दर है दर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर तुमने मौला की मोहब्बत का नजारा देखा लश्कर कुफर जियादा था मगर हार गया चंद अफराद ने लबनान का नक्शा बदला भागने वाले जरा देख तो पीछे मुड़कर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर इश्क है दर की तबलीग किया करते हैं ऐसे दीवान है दाना अता करते हैं अपने वाले ने बहलोर कहा करते हैं आम मिट्टी से बना देते हैं ये खुद के कर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर मर के भी उल्फत है दर नहीं मरने देती बात ये हजरत सलमान ने साबित कर दी बाद मरने के अगर इनको बुलाएंगे अली मौत की गोद से लबे कहेंगे उठ कर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर देखकर भी मुसलमान को कहते हैं नजर ऐसे होते हैं अली के नौकर मोहम्मद वारे मोहम्मद वाजिल फरज beautiful recitation thank you very much girls and uh, uh, children tell me what is nokar in that qasida uh, you know Sorry. ali ke nokar so what what do you you know understand by nokar who is nokar um like his companions they're not his nokars like his servants, servants yeah. but, but companions like his, the way if he's basically talking about how his companions are so um they're so special so then a mummy is even more yeah. yeah i mean knocker or knocker literally means Sir, that servant. servant and obviously yeah, you know we, we will be proud to be you know true servant of imam ali it's like a true followers yeah. what it means in that qasida is true followers obviously it must be, uh, you know companions and also you know uh, um, other pious people who are practicing the teaching of imam ali alay salam okay and uh, so that was beautiful uh, recitation thank you very much girl so sh- let's move on to our actual show viewers let me remind you about the format of this program as you know there are three rounds first round is a team round second round is a individual round and third round exciting round is a buzzer round okay and obviously today we are celebrating the birth of imam ali our first imam uh, so the question is going to be on the life of imam ali alaihi so i would like to ask both of the teams what do you think of kids quiz you know um you came on to the show and uh, how did you prepare yourself um well we got the questions and then we went through them first we read them yeah and mm. we um revised together as well yeah. so you researched yeah. Yeah, researched the answers yeah? yeah yeah okay right so as you know kids i just want to mention something uh there are there is a beautiful saying of imam ali alayhi salam and i think we should learn from it you know we should try to practice it a uh, beautiful saying of imam ali is, uh, is that to lose or to waste an opportunity will result in grief or sorrow 
that is the exact saying of imam ali alaihi salam which i am going to um apply to this quiz okay children this is an opportunity for you to come on to kids quiz and test your knowledge okay and gain sawab as well so imam ali alaihi salam saying that if you lose or waste an opportunity you've been given an opportunity to come and join us on kids quiz like these kids have and this is why i'm asking these kids what is their experience is like okay so what the, you know what what i try to do i try to sort of send you the question and then you can prepare yourself you can research those answers and before you come to the program this is what the girls are saying so once they have received the email with the questions they can then research the answers okay so i would like to invite all of you out there who are watching kids quiz to come and join us test your knowledge and it's not about you know uh, uh, feeling shy or oh, if i'm i'm if i lose the game i'm going to you know do not feel embarrassed because obviously every step you take to gain knowledge it's a sawab there's a huge tremendous amount of sawab in it okay every word that you you know uh, learn it's a sawab so i would like to request if anybody is out there would like to join us please do give us a call or you can email us on feedback@hidayat.tv okay so now i would like to ask the boys okay experience of the journey that you have made to kids quiz um i've been on here a couple of times yes mashallah but sadly we've lost within the buzzer buzzer round where it's not a big deal then is it it's been a great experience because you know you've got you can always come back and have yeah, another go exactly rather than just sit there and be like oh i've lost yeah not but what about you know what about the knowledge have well, you you know what knowledge if you look at you know from 1 to 10 you know a scale mm. of 1 to 10 What would you say your knowledge were before you came to this show, show and then once you've been probably six and then about nine. Right. Ten. So yeah. you have improved from six to nine. Okay, that which is which is you know excellent, isn't it? Okay. Right. So let's move on to our first round. Then are you ready, boys and girls? Yeah. Right. Okay. So I would like to ask Team A. Right. Very first uh, um, round, and I would like to ask. Um, first round question first round is a team round and uh, it's uh, three questions okay so i'm going to ask three questions to team b first okay team b first question for you is that who was imam ali married to very easy question yeah bibi fatima bibi fatima to zahra salam allah alaiha the daughter of holy the only daughter of holy prophet peace be upon him okay yes well done second question who was the first child in islam imam ali alaihi salam was the first child wasn't he imam ali yes so well shall i say you got it wrong or you got it right yes you you got it wrong okay uh you were thinking about child and you said uh, prophet muhammad peace be upon him a prophet adam right okay well never mind um uh, is you know your knowledge is bit rusted at the moment to start off with and i'm i'm sure you know you're going to pick it up right so third question for this round is what does meaning of asadullah al ghalib means um, the lion of allah the lion of yeah. the courageous lion of allah yeah. subhanahu wa taala yes well done okay so in this round you have scored 10 points okay you got only one question wrong so you know i mean you can catch it up in the other rounds okay right boys are you ready yeah yeah okay right so three questions for you as well First question is one of the title of Imam Ali al Islam is Amir al Mu'minin. Yes. What does it mean? Commander of the faithful. Command uh, leader or commander of faithful. Yes. Very good. Well done. Right. And this is uh, I just would like to clar- clarify something that this is the only title that applies to Imam Ali al Islam. Not even it was given to other imams. Okay. Uh, so that title is only applies to Imam Ali al Islam, Amir al Mu'minin, the leader of the faithful. Okay. Um now the second question for you is that complete the following hadith 
Ana Madinatul El. I know the English translation. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. If you want to say in English, I will accept that. Okay, it means well, the Prophet is a city to knowledge. Yeah. And Imam Ali is his gate. Gate, yes. Ana Madinatul Ilm Aliun Baboha. So it means that uh, Ima, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the city of knowledge and Imam Ali is the gate. So anybody has to come into the city, they obviously they have to use the gate, yes? Without gate, you cannot climb up the wall. It will be, you know, classified as, as, as illegal, isn't it? Okay, mm. so yes, well done. Third question for this round. Whose shahada do we commemorate on the 21st of Ramadan? Imam Ali alayhi Imam Ali mm. And Imam Ali alayhi salam is the only, uh, um, you know, um, a person who was born in khana e Kaaba and who was martyred in the house of Allah as well you know in in the masjid okay well done boys so you have scored 15 points okay we'll recite a loud salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa jil farajam okay well done right so now this is the individual questions okay so you cannot confer in this round and I'm going to start with team A first team A first questions for you is that Name the parents of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Ibrahim. Um, Abu Talib and Fatima bint Asad. Fatima bint Asad was the mother of uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam and Hazrat Abu Talib was the father of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Yes, well done. Okay. Second question to Haider. Haider, name Imam Ali's sons who were also Imam. Imam Hassan alayhi salam and Imam Hussain alayhi Yes, Imam Hassan alayhi salam and Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Yes, well done. Okay. Right. Another two questions. So, uh, second question for you, Ibrahim. Um, name any three battles in which Imam Ali participated. Uh, the Battle of Badr, the yeah. Battle of Uhud, yeah. and the Battle of Khaybar. Yeah, okay. There were many battles. Every battle, you know, there were Imam Ali was nearly in all of them, okay? And whichever one Imam Ali was in, they never lost. Yes, yes, exactly. Of course, you know. Uh, but one thing I would like to mention here, you know, um, Imam Ali fiercely fought in, you know, the enemy, but he never killed while the enemy was thirsty or hungry condition, okay? And he never destroyed or dismantle the houses of enemy okay because obviously Imam Ali considered that as a uh, these acts were uh, against the norm of nobility and uh, and of course generosity wasn't it you know but you you see this is was the teaching of Imam Ali okay even to his enemy he was so kind and so you know generous well you look at the other teachings of Banu Mayyas and you know what they do they still uh, uh, um, what's happened a few weeks ago in Syria? Does anybody know? They've been killed, yes. Yeah. But also there was a big event that happened to the shrine of... Uh, Hujur ibn Abi. Yes, what yeah. happened there? Well, they, I think they dug him. They demolished him. They, they demolished completely, him. yeah. And then they dug him and then put him somewhere else. And then yes, they, they, were, they desecrated the, 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 the uh, you know, uh, holy shrine of uh, Hijr bin Idi, who is a Sahabi a Rasul, is, you know. So can you see the two different practices? Okay, and Alhamdulillah, we are followers of Ahle Bayt who do not commit such a crime. Yes, so we are. We should be proud. So we'll recite a loud salawat for Hujur bin Idi. Okay, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Okay, right. So boys, uh, last question for you, Haida. Name the commander of chief in Imam Ali's army at the Battle of Sifin. Mesmer Who was the commander-in-chief of the army of Imam Ali in the Battle of Sifin? Malik. Uh, Malik, yes. Go on. I don't know. Right, okay. I'll take that as a right answer because obviously he's, he, you know, uh, uh, um, he was also called by Malik, okay, Malik-e-Ashtar, 
right? Janab Malik Ashtar was the chief uh, of army of Imam Ali alayhi salam at the Battle of Siffin. Okay, so I'll take that right answer. Well done. Uh, we'll recite a loud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa jil farajam. Now we'll move on to team B. Are you ready, girls? Yeah. Right, okay. You're ready to beat the boys then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Give two titles of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Zara. Um, obviously, the commander of the faithful. Yeah. Um, Which is? Amir al Mu'minin. Yeah, what we need. Yes. Um, and there's Asadullah, which is the line of Allah. Asadullah Ghalib, yeah. yes, okay. Murtaza, uh, you know, Haider, there are many titles of Imam Ali alayhi salam, okay. So, yes, well done. I asked for two and you gave us two. Uh, well done. Okay, now I would like to ask you, um, Saida, what is the kunyat of Imam Ali alayhi salam? Kunyat means nickname or? Is it Abul Hassan? Abul Hassan, yes. Correct answer, yeah. Well done. Zahra, second question for you. Name any three companions of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Okay, um, Mesa, Mesa, um, Mesa, um, uh, Tammar. Uh, yes. Yeah, and, wait, what time? Mesa, Mesa, Tammar is a one, one, oh, one name. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, Mukhtar, he was one companion. And uh, Mukhtar, yes, okay, I'll take that as a, you know, but he came right, you know, he wasn't. Uh, right, come on, another uh, three, I ask you. Okay. No? I'll give you only 60 uh, a second. No? Okay, <laughs> right. Never mind, doesn't matter. Misa Mit Ammar, Malik Ashtar, Ammar Yasir, Salman Farsi, they were all companion of Imam Ali alayhi salam, okay? Right, so I'm afraid you, you did not give me the full answer, okay? Right, another question for you, Saida. Name a book containing sermons, letters, and speeches of Imam Ali. Uh, the Nahjul Balagha. The Nahjul Balagha, yes. The very authentic book uh, of letters and uh, uh, sermons of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Okay, well done. Right, at the end of this round, the score is, Team B has scored 15 points. Okay, while Team A has scored 20 points, we'll recite a loud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajam. Okay, young viewers, I hope you learned quite a lot today. Um, here, after the second round, we always take a short break. We'll take a short break here. But keep watching Hidayat TV. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back, uh, young viewers. You are watching Kids Quiz on Hidayat TV. Today we are celebrating the birth of Imam Ali Islam, and I'm your host, Nigat Zaidi. So far, we had two rounds, first round and the second round. Uh, and so far, the score is the team A has scored 35 points, and whereas team B has scored 25 points, okay? But as I said, third round is a decisive round where anybody can win or lose, you know, it, uh, and you know, I am keep saying again and again, it's not a matter of losing and winning. It's all about having knowledge, okay, gaining more knowledge. Right, okay, so before we start the third and the final round, um, this is the speech round, where first of all, I would like to ask uh, Ali Akbar Rashid to recite uh, beautiful manqabat uh, of Imam Ali alayhi salam. So, we'll recite a loud salawat. 
खुदा और नबी का जहाँ जिक्र होगा वहाँ हम पढ़ेंगे कसीदा का खुदा और नबी का जहाँ जिक्र होगा वहाँ हम पढ़ेंगे कसीदा का अली जैसा मोमिन अली जैसा आलम अली जैसा आदिल अगर है तो लाओ अली जैसा रहे बर अली जैसा जाहिद अली जैसा दुनिया में आबद दिखाओ जो बेसर पे सोए तो खाल किए कह दे बड़ा लुत्फ आया तेरी बंदगी का खुदा और नबी का जहाँ जिक्र होगा वहाँ हम पढ़ेंगे कसीदा अली का मैं दर पे गया था जगह ही नहीं थी वहाँ अम्बया की कतारें लगी थी मैं दर पे गया था जगह ही नहीं थी वहाँ अम्बया की कतारें लगी थी सभी या अली या अली कर रहे थे वहाँ मुर्तजा ही भराई लगी थी मैं दर से जो पलटा गली में जब आया तो संग बन गया मैं अली की गली का खुदा और नबी का जहाँ जिक्र होगा वहाँ हम पढ़ेंगे कसीदा अली का अली से मदद मांगना मौलवी जी ये बिद्दत नहीं है सुन्नत नबी की अली से मदद मांगना मौलवी जी ये बिद्दत नहीं है सुन्नत नबी की सवा लाख को भी जरूरत पड़ी तो मदद मांगी सब ने नबी के वसी की जारा के शोहर से क्यों जल रहा है मजा कुछ न आया तेरी जिंदगी का खुदा और नबी का जहाँ जिक्र होगा वहाँ हम पढ़ेंगे कसीदा अली का कसीदे में होगी विलायत अली की जलेगा कलेजा उधर मौलवी का माशा ब्यूटीफुल वेल डन अली अकबर देर वॉज अ वेरी प्रोमिनेंट मैसेज एज वेल वॉज इन देर राइट ओके सो बॉयज आर यू ready for your speech round then okay so who would like to go first girls. boys or the girls boys boys, boys team yeah. it's always ladies first yeah we went first before okay so right fair first. enough boys you've been nominated to go first by the girls <laughs> <laughs> right okay would you like to okay. um what are you reciting what, what are you i'm going to be two of imam ali's alayhis salam's famous quotes right quotes and and a saying of imam ali yeah, okay yeah. um Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What his first quote is: "Laziness is the blight of success." Um, so I'm going to um, explain explain this quote. Okay, these are few qualities which enable people to be successful in life. Among them are se- setting goals, mm-hmm. putting a plan and timetable, mm-hmm. persistence, yeah. patience, and being active. 
Yet some people, after reaching those goals, become lazy and surrender to comfort. This is what diminishes or even cancels their success. Instead of that, the best attitude should be to stay active even after becoming successful. This, this uh, redefines success in that it's not only reaching goals, but also having and maintaining activity and momentum after reaching them. Success in a, is an attitude, not an event. An example of that would be continuing education after graduation from college, or at least keeping the habit of reading. Okay. Um, the second, his second quote was, nobility is three traits. Uh, being generous, although you have very little to give. Mm. Tolerating without being humiliated and abstaining from asking for favours. Mm. The quote summarises what it takes to be a noble person. Mm -hmm. One, generosity while having little to give. It is easy to give if you have a lot, but, if, but it is hard if you have little. Number two, Tolerance which does not compromise self-respect or dignity. Number three, staying away from asking others for favours, for example, begging, borrowing money, etc. Hmm. Very yes. good. Beautiful. I really like those. Uh, you know, I mean, these are very simple to understand. And, you know, if we, if we can practice on it, we will, we will, you know, um, achieve our goals, whatever goals are in, a, you know, obviously the goals in life are not as important as those in, you know, we are uh, uh, achieving in the other after, okay? And, you know, nowadays when you go to schools, when you go to universities or, you know, any, any um, you know, at, at the training courses as well when you are uh, working, they ask you to set smart goals, okay? Whereas Imam Ali, has, uh, you know, in his saying, saying that you have to be, you know, you avoid laziness because obviously it's not going to lead you to success, is it? Yeah, right. smart goals, setting smaller goals, which are smart goals, can attain success at the end. And it's amazing how you can predict what's going to happen in yeah. the future. Yes. So these sort of things, you s there, you would have seen them as a, will this happen in the future? Now, it's now like, you can, there's it's a, an actual goal. Exactly, whatever the sayings of Imams and, you know, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you know, we are pr already practicing. After 1400 years, you know, uh, people are saying, oh, well, yeah, it's, you know, you should do this. And you, we already knew that. Yeah, Prophet, peace be upon him, his sayings and that we are practicing at the moment. They've already said it. Okay, mashallah. So really well done. Uh, I, I, I was really impressed. So what, what, did you th what did you think of the sayings? Yeah. Beautiful yeah. sayings, yeah. isn't it? Nice yes. Yeah? Okay, well done. Uh, so we'll recite a loud salwat for Ibrahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa li Muhammad wa jil farajam. And uh, Heather, are you going to recite something for us as well or um, what have you prepared? I'm doing about Imam Ali's knowledge. Okay, knowledge of Imam Ali alayhi salam, okay, because obviously he's the uh, a gate of... The city of Yeah, knowledge. Imam uh, Ali is the gate of knowledge, isn't he? You know, while the Prophet is the city, city of knowledge, okay, carry on. Imam Ali Islam worked on educating people on the Islamic knowledge and that is clear through his speeches through Najul Balagha. The Imam took advantage of every opportunity to make people aware of all the issues surrounding them. He was a ruler who aimed at elevating the level of knowledge of his people. That should, be all, that should also be the responsibility of the leaders in the Islamic area who must educate their people with political and re religious education. Thus Allah has obliged every scholar who knows the Islamic sciences and is aware of the people's need to teach them and take advantage of every occasion to elevate the level of, no level of knowledge. Oh wow, that's very good. Yes, well done. And obviously as a followers of Ali Bayt and this is what I keep saying to all our young viewers out there, Come and test your knowledge. We are the followers of, of uh, you know, Imam Ali alayhi salam. Uh, you know, um, Babu Ilm. Uh, you know, we are his followers and we should be gaining knowledge till the last breath of our life, okay? Now, I'm coming to Team B. Team B, what are you going to recite? A speech? Yeah, we've got a speech that we split in half. Yes. Okay, so you're going to share this speech between you two. Okay, yeah. that's fine. So whenever you're ready. Okay, yes, yeah, so to begin with, we found two quotes that we really like. 
So okay. we thought we might share it with yes. you. Yes, Bismillah. Okay. The mind of a wise man is the safest custody of secrets. Yeah. Cheerfulness is the key to friendship. Patience and forbearance will conceal many defects. Mm -hmm. So the second one, which is like a one that Imam Ali says to give like good advice to people to mm. use in their daily life. Mm -hmm. um, live amongst people in such a manner that if you die, they weep over you. And if you are alive, they crave for your company. Mm. Beautiful, okay. yes. Okay. okay, well done. And... Uh, Saida? Um, well, I just wanted to talk about some of the important events in Imam Ali's life. Okay. Um, because obviously he is a huge role model for us. And he's always been there for um, the Prophet. Um, and obviously there was the uh, famous event of Ghadir, where after Hajj, um, Prophet, the, after the last Hajj of the Prophet, he came and he made a mount of saddles and he took Imam Ali with him on the, this mount and he de declared that he would be the next successor after him. Mm -hmm. So that was quite um, an important part of his life. And mm. there's also all the battles he's fought, like um, Khaybar, where there was a very huge gate that not even 20 men could pick up, mm -hmm. but Imam Ali could. Um, and that just shows how strong and how brave he was. Mm. Um, and also, there's the event of Mubahila, um, when the Christians of Najran mm -hmm. came, and um, they 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 were talking about Jesus, of course. And um, then uh, Prophet told them to come, and uh, he invited his family as well, mm -hmm. which is the Ahlul Bayt, of mm -hmm. course, who came. And uh, they they were going to do obviously dua. And then the Christians got scared and they went. So that also shows the, the power of the Ahlul mm. Bayt. So and Imam Ali salam, went in, in Mubahila as his, as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, nafs, you know, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, basically, it just shows how Imam Ali is so important um, and he's so close to the Prophet as yeah. well. So, yeah, well done. And also, I must say, you know, it's just very, uh, uh, it's impossible to find so many qualities in one person. Yeah. Right, Imam Ali has all the qualities you can name it. Okay, yeah. and and in Islam there isn't anybody else apart from Muhammad peace be upon him, our Prophet. Right, there is nobody else like Imam Ali. That had so many. You know, when you see him in the battlefield, you cannot find a fi you know great fighter warrior than him. Right, yeah. when he uh, when you see him on the uh, musalla, right on the praying mat, you will not see anybody else pious and you know uh, obedient of Allah than himself so he's got so many qualities in him mm -hmm. and as a follower of as a follower of Imam Ali salam, we should try to practice isn't it to become a successful person in this world and akhara okay so we'll recite a loud salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad right okay last and final round Okay, are you all ready? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, right. Um, put your hands on the buzzers. Okay, so I would like to mention one thing here. That, you know, buzzer round. We often have children complaining about the buzzer round and they think, well, you know, it's like a match, match fixing or anything. Believe you me, you can, you can, you know, test it yourself. Buzzer also has got a light, yeah. okay? So whoever presses the buzzer first, their light goes off first. Yes, okay? Yeah. So there's no cheating in there. And obviously we are sitting here uh, at the platform of Hidayat and giving people Hidayat so we cannot do any, uh, uh, you know, injustice to anybody, okay? Right, so now if you're ready, I would ask five questions, okay. First question is that, what is the meaning of Abu Turab, a famous title of Imam Ali? Yes, girls? Abu Turab. Do you want to pass it to the other side? Oh, yeah. yeah, okay, boys? It's father of earth or father of soil. Father of soil or earth, yes, well done. Okay, second question of this buzzer round. Name the sword of Imam Ali al Islam. Zulfiqar. Zulfiqar, yes, it was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, yes, well done. 
Right. Uh, third question of this round is that what are the two weightly things? Okay. The Quran and the Quran, and that's fine. Okay. What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? Even. There, there is a rule, okay. Obviously, there is a rule that you have to wait till I finish the question, okay. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this slightly, okay. I'm going to let the teams carry on. Obviously, if they did not hear the full question, they can. There is a chance that they may not give the right answer. Yes. So loss is theirs, right? So what I'm going to do from today. If you're watching and you're going to be next on our show, we are going to change that rule. And this was, you know, advised to me by, uh, uh, you know, some somebody in the community. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the rule. If I, even if I did not finish the question, used to be the case that in that team would lose the point. Okay, but from today, quote my words, from today we are going to change the rule. The team can carry on. Even if I haven't finished the question, team can carry on. The chances is, if they have not understood the question properly, they may not give the right answer. So loss is either way is is the team who has pressed the buzzer. Okay, right. Okay, I mean, you will be lucky this time that you have given us the right answer. Okay, right. The fourth question is is this the fourth question or the third one? Fourth question. Okay, so. The second last question for this round. Who slept in the bed of Holy Prophet? Imam Ali alayhi salam. <laughs> Imam Ali alayhi salam. Okay. Come on, boys. Okay. Last question for this round is Tell me. Tell me. What does Imam Ali's title, Qasimun Narwal Jannah, um, <laughs> of heaven and hell, dictator of heaven and hell, divider, uh, divider of uh, heaven and hell, yes, obviously, and the, the, the actual meaning of this title is that, that Imam Ali alayhi salam, okay, the love of Imam Ali alayhi salam will take you to Jannah, and both the both of Imam Ali alayhi salam will take you to Jahannam. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the literal meaning of this phrase. Okay, so well done to both of the teams. Thank you very much for participating, and inshallah, I will see you definitely see you again. And uh, let me just check the final score. What is the final score, um, Ali Akbar? According to me, um, uh, okay, while you do the score, I'm going to recite a beautiful poetry. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, we are celebrating the birth of Imam Ali alayhi salam. So I'm just going to do little shairi uh, for parents who are watching uh, this program with their kids. You know, Milad Murtaza ki zamane mein dhoom hai, Milad Murtaza ki zamane mein dhoom hai, jo a raha hai, aaj wo babe ulum hai, jisko Abu Tarab kaha hai Rasool ne, jisko Abu Tarab kaha hai Rasool ne, dar par isi ke Remember boys and girls, we, we did uh, talk about the knowledge of Imam Ali and look there is a share of, uh, you know, which is kind of portraying that. Ye tib ye kimiya, ye tabiyato falsafa. Okay, they are specific subjects like, you know, tib, uh, uh, chemistry, medicine. Ye tib ye kimiya, ye tabiyato falsafa. Har ilm hai Ali ki rivayat liye huye. Yes, insan Abu Tarab ko pehchanta nahi. Insan Abu Tarab ko pehchanta nahi. Loe zami hai horfe shikayat liye huye. Jibril la chuke hai ye pegam bar bar. Jibril la chuke hai ye pegam bar bar. Nafse nabi hai shane vilayat liye huye. Nafse nabi hai shane vilayat liye huye. Molae kainat bakul bakole rasul hai. Molae kainat bakole rasul hai. Har mor pe zamane ke rehbar ali ali. 
Okay, we'll recite a loud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa jil parajum. Okay, so Ali Akbar, final score. They got 45 points. Okay. They got 40 points. Oh dear, 45 points for team B and team A, 40 points. Very, very much head to head competition, wasn't it? Yes, you were winning at one point and at the second point, you know, uh, a minute team A, B has won. So congratulations to both of the teams. Mashallah, you have gained knowledge and uh, you know, um, well done and inshallah, I'll see you next time again so thank you Zahra thank you Saida thank you Ibrahim thank you um, Haider and thank you very much Ali Akbar Rashid and viewers again if you would like to come and join us you know how to contact us any feedback you would like to pass our address is feedback at hidayat.tv inshallah we'll see you next week with our new teams Jab tak apna khayal rakhe, look after yourself and wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.